New at six, we now have a critical document in the Atlanta Braves move to Cobb County. It is the memo of understanding that pretty much lays out the deal to move the Braves from Turner Field. Channel 2's Ross Cabot is live in Cobb County where he got the document just about 20 minutes ago. Ross? That's right. In uh, 20 pages in all its glory here, this is the document that will outline the deal between Cobb County, its taxpayers, and the Atlanta Braves to move the uh, ball club here to the Cumberland area and build a stadium and then embark on an ambitious redevelopment project after that. I talked to Chairman Tim Lee a few minutes ago. He says no surprises or significant changes in this document uh, when it comes to all the details that we've been reporting on ad nauseum since this announcement last week. I will have uh, a link to this document. I'll 20 pages on our website, WSBTV.com, so y'all can read it and decide for yourself. In the meantime, we were out at the stadium site earlier today and find work apparently has already started because something big has to be moved. Even though the stadium deal is not yet a done deal and only theoretically a few days old, we found utility crews already marking up the stadium site, just a few feet below where the Braves plan to call home. A huge gas transporting pipe sits. We took a map of the 5,000-mile-long Colonial Pipeline and zoomed in to its trek through the metro and overlaid it on the stadium site. It essentially runs from third to first. It, Professor Sam Beatles tells me, will have to go. These pipes, these are major transmission main pipes. They're usually only three or four feet under the surface. So if they do any significant subsurface work, they're going to have to move the pipe. Cobb County has already addressed the pipeline in their proposal under that $14 million transportation improvement line, but it's unclear where that line will be redirected, how much it will cost to lay the new pipeline, and how many environmental studies will have to be done. Much of the cost and time to move the pipe will depend on two things, how long the section is and whose land will be used to route it around the stadium. Physically moving the pipe, Professor Beetle says, is the easy part. Cutting through the red tape, not so much. It's a major project. It usually starts out with a feasibility study. Uh, and that study looks at uh, alternatives and routes and costs and does environmental uh, assessments and that sort of thing. And and details about the uh, Colonial Pipeline and its trek through the Brave Side, no doubt part of this 20-page memorandum of understanding released by the county just a few minutes ago. Uh, the next step for this document is a vote before the county commission one week from tonight. If it's passed by the commission, the Braves and the county will sign it. We'll be en route to the first pitch here in about three and a half years. We are live in Marietta, Ross Cabot, Channel 2 Action News.